what happens when a mass of iron and steel gets launched into the ocean? Massive waves and dangerous circumstances. Today, we're partnering with Lisette Studios to bring you the top 15 awesome ship launches. Number 15, Rope Snap. When it's time to launch a ship into the water from a dock, there are countless safety precautions that need to be taken. After all, once the supports are removed, there's nothing anyone can do to stop the thousands of tons of steel from continuing on their course. And if anyone's stuck in the way or it moves in an unintended direction, it can spell disaster. One of the main methods of controlling a ship's launch is by guide ropes, which can take on an enormous strain to determine the precise direction that it moves in. If, however, too much load is put through one of these ropes, or they're simply too old or worn, they'll snap and potentially result in a loss of control of the ship. This video was recorded at the Bodewa shipyard in Hugesand in the Netherlands, and it shows a much closer call than those in charge would have wanted. As you can see, the rope responsible for holding the ship steady in the water, once it has entered, breaks, and the boat veers off towards the onlookers on the other side. Luckily, on this occasion, no one was hurt, but it could have very nearly been a tragic outcome. Number 14. Launch floods a street. The Bodeves trader Triton is a cargo ship that was built at the Bodeway shipyard in the Netherlands. With an empty weight of 4,700 tons, it was specifically designed to transport heavy cargo, and it was further strengthened to allow for loading and unloading aground. With a maximum grain capacity of 235,000 cubic feet, it's simply an enormous ship that's 295 feet long and 50 feet wide. And because it's intended for long ocean voyages, also has room on board for a crew of nine people, each of whom has their own cabin. It seems fitting then that for such an impressive ship, there was an equally impressive launch when it was ready to set sail for the first time in April of 2015. Luckily, no one had been using the street on the other side because the sheer weight of the ship entering the water sent a huge wave over it to the amusement of nearby spectators. During this launch, everything went to plan, and organizers had predicted the displacement that would happen, which is why they prohibited people from watching from one of the best vantage points. As soon as the water had receded, though, people were quick to run down the street to get their first look at the newly launched ship. Number 13, the Symphony Spaceship. Completed in 2018 at the Ferris Schmidt Shipyard in Leer, Germany, the Symphony Space is a huge general cargo vessel designed to transport shipments around the world. With a gross tonnage of 6,700 tons and a dead weight of 10,000 tons, it's just over 400 feet long and almost 56 feet wide. It was the sixth and last of this design of ship that was built by the yard for Symphony Shipping and has since been sailing mainly around Europe between ports in the Mediterranean and the North Sea. As it was the last of its type to be launched, the day when it first left the dry dock for water attracted a large number of spectators, and they weren't disappointed by what they saw. It slid down the ramp exactly as planned, and the event was so well coordinated that it barely created a large enough wave to breach the bank on the other side of the canal. You'll rarely see a launch as textbook perfect as this, and it's a testament to the workers at the shipyard that it was done so seamlessly. Number 12. Launch Fail the vast majority of ship launches go to plan, in that they result in the ship successfully entering the water and be ready to use. Of course, complications may happen during the process, but very rarely do things go so wrong that the ship's a complete write-off before it can even carry its first passengers or cargo. There are exceptions to this, however, as this video that was recorded in Jakarta, Indonesia shows. The ship has been completed at the yard and is being slowly lowered backward into the water to the excitement of local boat owners no one could have predicted what was about to happen next. Something went catastrophically wrong as it entered the water, and it begins to tilt to one side. This isn't too unusual when a boat first settles and gets its balance, but on this occasion, there are no ropes attached to it to hold it in place, and it's never able to correct itself. Instead, it keeps going in the same direction and in a matter of moments flipped onto its side and was beginning to sink. Once this happens, there's very little that can be salvaged from a ship because all of its internal fittings would have been waterlogged. But employees of the shipyard would have had their work cut out for them. 
because the remains of the ship needed to be completely removed from the waterway before the launch ramp could be used again. Number 11, the Flintler Atlantic. The Flintler Atlantic is a general purpose cargo ship that was built at the Ferris Smith shipyard in Lear, Germany. With a gross tonnage of 6,600 tons and a dead weight of 11,000 tons, it's just under 443 feet long and 46 feet wide. It was completed in 2011 based on a new design of ship and was proudly launched from the shipyard in January of that year. The video of the launch begins by showing workers walking beneath the underside of the ship to knock all the support struts out of the way and then once they're clear, the ship is ready to be released. With scores of onlookers along the nearby road hoping to get a good vantage point of the launch, the ship slides into the water and creates a large wave that almost reaches them. Unsurprisingly, when a ship like this is scheduled for launch, the road on the opposite bank is closed for regular traffic, because the last thing you'd want is to find yourself trying to drive through a wave like that. Number 10, the Symphony C. In 2015, the Ferris Smith shipyard in Lear, Germany completed the construction of yet another large cargo vessel, this time for the Nodana Shipping Company. Originally known as the Nordana Sea, although it has since been sold to Symphony Ventures of Singapore and renamed Symphony Sea, it has a gross tonnage of 6,700 tons and a dead weight of 10,000 tons. The ship is 400 feet long and 56 feet wide and has a maximum engine output of 3,000 kilowatts, which allows it to reach an average cruising speed of around 11 knots. After a few delays in the build, the ship was finally ready to be launched in December of 2015, and a well-placed camera managed to capture the event in all its glory. It just shows how powerful the waves created by ship launches can be as it smashes against the opposite bank and covers the camera. It takes a while for the ship to settle while waves rebound back and forth against it and the dock, but eventually it's ready to be fueled and for the engines to be powered up to drive it to its first port of call. Number 9. Huge Wave Hit Spectators for those who are interested in shipbuilding and design, there's nothing quite like being at a launch in person to see a new vessel hit the water for the first time. Of course, with so many thousands of tons of steel essentially falling into the dock, huge waves can be formed, and it can be often difficult to predict quite how large they'll be. Even seasoned launch watchers occasionally miscalculate their position, which is often a trade-off between getting the best view and risking getting incredibly wet. During the launch of this 8,900-ton Fuldeborg ship from the Ferris Smith shipyard in 2012, this is exactly what happened, with amazing scenes following its entry. Even when the launch starts, you can't help but feel like there's a crowd of people standing too close, and it was probably obvious to everyone except for them. They soon realize their error, though. While a few manage to get out of the way calmly before the wave hits the shore, others run as fast as they can while they see how violent it looks. In the end, the water barely reaches where they were, but in his attempt to escape, one man manages to actually put himself in the way of the wave and ended up drenched. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Luxury Yacht Destruction We've all dreamt of what we'd do if we were millionaires, from buying fast cars to mega mansions, but one of the top items that people often put on their list is their own luxury yacht. There's nothing quite like taking to the waves and comfort, being able to travel between stunning locations, but paying for the privilege can cost many millions of dollars. Of course, the companies that build vessels like these take extreme care to ensure they're seaworthy and delivered to clients in a perfect condition. But things don't always go to plan. This video was recorded by a worker who was involved in the construction of a multi-million dollar yacht. You won't believe what's about to happen next.
One of the support cables breaks that sends the yacht forward into the water and the rear cable has no chance of being able to take the load, so it breaks too. In the same way as a buttered piece of toast always lands face down on the floor, the yacht seems to flip in midair and land in the worst possible way, and is almost immediately upside down in the water and sinking. Needless to say, it was a complete write-off, and because the river was so dirty, there was hardly anything that could be salvaged. It's not known how the owner of the yacht reacted when they found out about this, but let's hope for their sake they hadn't yet taken official delivery of it. Number 7. The Bro Garland now based in the port of Hamburg, the Bro Garland is a tanker that was built at the Ferris Smith shipyard in 2009. It's 382 feet long, 50 feet wide, and has a gross tonnage of 4,200 tons and a dead weight of 7,500 tons. As it's responsible for transporting fuel in a timely manner, it's fitted with engines that can generate 2,400 kilowatts of power, which allow it to reliably maintain a cruising speed of 13 and a half knots in all but the most challenging of weather conditions. When the word got out that such an unusual and large ship was being launched, large crowds of ship enthusiasts gathered around the shipyard in March of that year to watch it enter the water. With final checks complete, workers were happy that it was ready to go, and this is what happened. The ship made a perfectly contained entry and created a large wave to the thrill of onlookers. As you can see, some of them taking a tentative step back just in case it reaches them. But the launch had gone so perfectly to plan that the water never reaches beyond where the warning signs had been placed. Number 6. The Viking Bank Built at the Ferris Smith Shipyard in Lear, Germany in 2012, the impressively named Viking Bank is a general-purpose cargo ship designed to transport containers around Europe and to the rest of the world. It's a huge vessel that's 470 feet long and 53 feet wide, and has a gross tonnage of 7,300 tons. Despite its size, even when it's fully loaded, it has a cruising speed of around 13 knots, and since it entered operation, it's become a reliable part of the Pot DP fleet. Locals near the shipyard were quite excited to see it launch in March of 2012, and they turned out in droves to see it for themselves. Many of them had been involved in its construction, and it represented the end of a long project for them. After safety checks came back all clear, the remaining personnel were ordered to move out of the way, and it was time for it to be released. On this occasion, you'll see a tugboat that was needed to keep the ship steady as it entered the water, but everything went exactly to plan. Even the wave it formed was relatively calm in comparison to others that burst over the opposite bank at that shipyard, and it was declared a complete success. Number 5. Running from the Waves Ship launches are popular events for locals who live near the yards or for those that are interested in the designs of vessels that sail on the oceans. So each time a new design in particular is lowered into the water for the first time, there's usually a large turnout. On Halloween in 2015, it was time for the Esnog 224 to be launched from the De Hoop shipyard in the Netherlands, and it certainly didn't disappoint. The 213-foot-long ship is a platform resupply vessel and supports oil platforms that are run by the Abu Dhabi National Oil Company. With a gross tonnage of 2,107 tons and a dead weight of 2,175 tons, it's not the largest of ships, but it certainly entered the world with a splash. It's launches like these that show why spectators love going to watch them in person, because you never quite know how it'll turn out. It created such a large wave that people on the opposite bank who had thought they had the perfect position to set their cameras up were forced to run away. But luckily, no one was caught unaware, and they were all able to laugh about it afterwards. <laughs> Number 4. The Regaborg The Regaborg was another new design of ship that was built at the Ferris Smith shipyard in Germany, and again drew rather large crowds when it was launched in December of 2013. At 558 feet long and 66 feet wide, it's classified as a general cargo ship and is used to transport containers between ports around Scandinavia. It's an absolutely huge vessel with a gross tonnage of 14,000 tons and a dead weight of 23,000 tons, so spectators were looking forward to seeing what would happen when it first hit the water.
It was a spectacular sight to see the ship sliding sideways into the canal. It is even more amazing to see the perfect wave form alongside it as it dips into the water before crashing onto the opposite bank. Number 3. The Arklo Valiant The Arklo Valiant is a general cargo ship that was built at the Royal Bodevest shipyard in the Netherlands for the Arklo shipping fleet that's responsible for a huge amount of container transportation around the world. At 285 feet long and 50 feet wide, it was specifically designed to be able to access ports that larger ships are unable to reach and is vital to being able to deliver goods directly to where they're needed. Construction of the ship was completed in 2016 and it was ready to launch on the 1st of April. It was a glorious spring afternoon, and a large crowd had gathered on the bank opposite in the prime position to see it enter the water. It generated a perfect wave that burst over the opposing bank, but just as it looks like the water is about to hit the spectators, it dissipates and the ship settles nearly at the center of the canal. Despite this, a flood of water does make it as far as the onlookers, and some of them are forced to move out of the way because they hadn't exactly turned up prepared to get wet. Number two a perfect launch. During a ship launch, there's usually something that doesn't go exactly to plan. It's just part of the job of the shipyard workers to ensure that any unforeseen incidents are minimized as much as possible. It's very rare for a launch to be declared as absolutely perfect, but occasionally it does happen. Workers at the Damon Shipyard in Romania have extensive experience in building some of the largest vessels in the world and ensuring their launch from the dry dock into the water in a way that means they're ready to set sail straight away. And as this video shows, they've perfected their technique. After a short ceremony, the ship rolls down into the water on specifically designed platforms and it barely causes any ripples or disturbance at all. This was definitely a 10 out of 10 launch and one that seldom happens so smoothly. <laughs> Number one, near death experience. While most ship launches proceed without incident and occasional ones see a rope snap or the ship jerk in an unpredictable way, it's extremely rare for something truly frightening to take place when they're entering the water. But if people aren't careful, launches can quite easily become a danger to life. After all, once you've released something that weighs thousands of tons, there's not anything you can do to stop it until it's come to rest in the water. And in 2019, what should have been a routine launch almost ended in disaster. The Tasman had been built at the Royal Bodeva shipyard in the Netherlands, and at 909 feet long and 131 feet wide, it's an enormous ship. It has a gross tonnage of 66,000 tons, so it's at the upper end of what's usually built at a shipyard like this. In this video of its launch, a worker is about to notice a rope that's out of place and decides to try to retrieve it. Just watch how close a call it ends up being. It's miraculous that he managed to get out of the way of the ship in time. When he appears to trip, it seems as if it's game over. Luckily though, he got clear and survived, and hopefully he learned his lesson and won't be trying to do that again in a hurry anytime soon. Watch our Waves playlist for more top 15 videos about massive waves. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best wave videos.